ready to open the hood, useful for the tutorials. And for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. You will find the TRW pads used in the video by clicking on the link in the description. Turn your engine off, pull up the handbrake, pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. Open the brake fluid reservoir. In order to change the brake pads on your vehicle, you will have to raise the front of the car and take off the wheels. This will provide you with full access to the brake pads. Loosen the stud bolts on the front wheels. Raise the front of the vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely, before carrying out this step. You will then be able to take off the wheels. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. Turn the disc outwards. This will facilitate the process. Insert a flathead screwdriver to the outer extremity of the oblong hole located on the front of the brake caliper. Lift it off using the screwdriver as a lever by pulling it towards you. This will then push the piston in. Don't hesitate to push the screwdriver further in once the space between the pad and the caliper allows. Ensure that you have pushed the piston in as far as possible before moving on to the next operation. Remove the caps covering the caliper mounting bolt. Using a 7mm Allen key under the two caliper mounting bolts. Using a flat screwdriver, disconnect the pad wear sensor. Remove the brake caliper and then unclip each of the pads to remove them. You can now place the brake caliper on one of the coils of the shock absorber spring. Using a wire brush, clean the edges of the brake caliper mount where the pads run. Please support us, subscribe and like the video, that will be really cool. You will find the TRW parts and products used in the video in the link in the description. Take the new brake pads, then insert the pads into the caliper by clipping them in. Remember to thread the pad wear sensor through so you can reconnect it. Now, put the brake caliper back in place, ensuring that the caliper mounting bolts are aligned with their housing. Before reinstalling the caliper, you need to check the proper sliding of the caliper mounting bolts and the condition of the protective rubbers. If they show evidence of wear, it is advisable to replace them with the new ones. Reconnect the pad wear sensor, push the caliper mounting bolts and begin tightening with a ratchet. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Put the caps back in place. You can now repeat the operation on the other side. Put the wheels of your vehicle back on and lower it to the ground.
Before starting your car, don't forget to screw the brake fluid stopper back in. Be careful. Before using your vehicle again, start your car and pump the brake pedal a few times to bring the brake pads together again. Try to drive smoothly and avoid sudden braking for the first 50 kilometers or so to avoid glazing the new pads. Operation completed. Hello, if this video helps you, like and subscribe.